Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Footmas is here, and boy, did we get a surprise today when they actually started the Footmas promo with the Team of the Year nominees. All that stuff happened today. Team of the Year nominees, Footmas, and Road to the Final upgrades all happened today. So I want to talk about all three of those things in this video today. I want to go over the Footmas promo, what I think we can expect, talk about the Team of the Year nominees, and what that did to the market today and also talk about the road to the final upgrades, which, which actually just happened um, pretty recently uh, when I'm recording this video right now. But obviously, uh, everybody thought Foot was coming today. Uh, we got the car design last night. We got the pack cover design. We saw all that stuff. Um, and we had the loading screen as well. We had the team of the year vote yesterday as well. But I don't, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this later in the video. But I. I, sh I feel like I should have expected more. I should have expected the team of the year nominees coming since we had that um, since we had that car design put into the pack code and that was known last night. So that I should have realized that uh, because whenever they put something in the pack code the night before, uh, usually something comes the next day. Like if something gets put in the night uh, before, it usually comes the next day. So um, I, I do want to speak about that a little bit later, but. Two SBCs today. We have the Vitzel and the Moses Simon SBC. Of course, uh, Player of the Month Sadio Mane this morning, which I think is really just getting overlooked because Mane has so many special cards. I mean, it's not a terrible value SBC, but he's going to become, I mean, Liverpool would have a decent chance depending on who they draw. We'll find out soon on who they draw for the knockout rounds. But he could very easily get a 91 rated card when his Champions League item gets upgraded. So if you're a huge Liverpool fan and you just want to try to craft this SBC over the next what is it out for 28 days 27 days then go for it uh, but i think this sbc does come in somewhere along the lines of 800,000 coins so i mean it is a bit of a um it's i think it's like a, a good value i mean it, it's probably about where that card would be valued if he was an inform he might be around a million as an inform maybe a little bit less uh but that is a very good card and if you're a liverpool fan you want that in your end game squad we want that in your squad right now, then I don't think it's a terrible, terrible thing to do. But I want to talk about Footmas. And uh, a lot of times what we do for Footmas is we actually go and look at the page that EA has put out for us today. Uh, in the web page, that was Footmas. They have a cool little graphic right here. Starting today, December 13th, uh, squad building challenges, daily squad building challenges. So kind of like last year, new objectives and uh fifa 20 team of the year nominees and packs for a limited time that is a week they were going to be they're going to be in packs until the 20th so next week um but this is what i want you guys to understand today this is one of the main things we're going to talk about is the footmas player sbcs and objectives so we are going to be getting two player sbcs every 24 hours so kind of like last year we got three sbcs each day today we're just getting or this year we're getting two but we're getting more objective players as well and i'm going to show you this this is actually kind of cool so two player SBCs each day decided by nationality and decided by league, right? In the spirit of Footmas, one of the player SBCs will be inspired by the latest FIFA men's international rankings as of November 28th. The nation's category will start on December 13th with Axel Witzel from Belgium, who are ranked first in the world, will finish December 24th with a player from Switzerland who are ranked 12th. So they're starting at number one and going to number 12 in terms of FIFA um, men's international rankings for uh, international teams. And then for league, the other SBC that we will get each day will be selected from either the Prem, Bundesliga, La Liga, La, uh, Ligue 1, or Serie A. So the top five leagues, actually, okay, yeah, the top five leagues, I thought I read that wrong for a second, but our normal top five leagues based on their league position standing at the end of the 2018-2019 season. Uh, we're gonna start with 12th place today with the Moses Simon. Um, Nantes got 12th in Ligue 1, and now we're gonna go down to first place. And we're going to rotate between those five leagues. And I, okay, I remember, I do remember this from last year. We didn't really get consecutive leagues uh, in terms of when they count down the leagues. Like, since we got League Un, we're probably not going to get League Un the next day tomorrow, right? We might not get a League Un player. We probably won't get a League Un player for the next position down in terms of the next, uh, like, finishing position in that league. So that's something to think about and you know you can maybe write off some of those cards to invest in that day because a lot of the footmas cards as we're going to talk about do go up and down in price depending on what is needed for those sbcs in addition to the 24 player sbcs some, think about that boys 24 different player sbcs are going to be coming out in the next 12 days six more players will be available through objectives giving you a potential for 30 new footmas players to pick up this festive season 30 
different cars they're going to be putting out for Footmas this year. Now, the first one we got today was the Witzel, and we did get the um, Moses Simon. And it's kind of nice because they give us a loan version because you don't actually have to go out and do the SBC to find out if you want that card. You can do the loan version of the card at a very uh, decreased value to figure out, test that card out for a few games to see if you want that card. And also, cards like this, the loans, if it's so cheap, man, I would, I would consider doing a lot of these loan cards because you might end up down the road finding that one of these loan cards, um, all you have to do is turn in one league unsquad with an overall rating of 55. So you can use silvers and bronzes. Uh, well, you might have to use a couple silvers, maybe a gold or two because of the, the block brick here in this SBC. But some of these could definitely help you out down the road with um, objectives because these uh, loan cards are going to be first owner. And also if they're, you know, like a certain nationality like Nigeria for Moses Simon or even Belgium for Witzel, um, you know, if we ever have like a KDB objective down the road or something like that or um, another Belgium player, something like this might help you. So if you're somebody who is, you know, wants to be super duper prepared, but you don't want to spend the actual coins for the SBC, maybe go out and just do the really cheap loan version, chuck in your club and it could help you for later. So that's one tip I have for you guys. But again, if you look at the requirements for the full versions of these SBCs, so we'll look at the full version of Axel Witzel, which according to Footbin, costs you around 47,000 coins, which isn't terrible. Um, 47K for this card. You need a Team of the Week or Foot Champions players, minimum one, an 84 rated squad, and one Bundesliga player. So they use the, uh, the league instead of the nationality, which is interesting because this SBC came from the uh, Belgian nationality. But uh, not too bad of an SBC if you're a Dortmund fan. Uh, I mean, that's a that's a pretty solid card you can throw in, in your squad. A lot of people are probably doing this one as a super sub, but it does cost you around 50,000 coins, which I think is a little bit um, over the top. It actually required a ones-to-watch player as well for this SBC, but I don't think that really made ones-to-watch players rise because you can easily get discard Team League players at 82 or 83 rated. So I don't think that um, ones-to-watch has really moved today a substantial amount. Um, because of that but again that is another SBC we got today the, the first two SBCs were kind of lackluster right Vitzel was decent value but nothing fantastic and then our objective player out here actually is pretty good and that is Gbaman Baman however you say his name uh the Everton CDM who so many people used early on this year in foot as a starter squad CDM for your prem teams this guy does look very good but it's going to be a little bit of a grind to get him there are multiple of these with rivals. Score using Ivory Coast players and four separate rivals wins. That caused Zaha to go up a lot today. Boys, I'm going to be honest. When we get an SBC or an objective player like this, or honestly any good objective player that requires something so specific like this, score using an Ivory Coast player and four separate rivals wins, when you have a really, really select nationality like that, I mean, think about all the guys in the Ivory Coast, right? Um, the easiest one that's going to be able to fit into most people's teams is going to be Zaha. And that's the guy who went up a lot today. Probably some other ones did as well. But there's a lot of ways that you can quickly invest and quickly go and make purchases from the objectives that we get based on uh, the stuff that comes out. And does this act, does this expire? When does this expire, man? It doesn't say that it expires. I don't see anywhere where this says it expires. Interesting. Uh, I would assume that it will expire, though, um, at the end of the season, maybe? because this is their season object. I don't know, six days left in the season. So it would make sense that this promo is going to end on Friday. So these probably end on Friday. But if you guys are getting that one, let me know. And of course, we got a uh, Footmas Kit SBC today as well. Basically, all you have to do is play a squad battles match, play some squad battles matches with uh, Footmas players, and you you get actually some good packs here. So very pay attention to this. To get the cool Footmas Kit, Play four squad battles matches with at least four footmas players in your starting squad. You get a prime gold players pack. Uh, so I would do this, man. I would really do this if you can. That's not too bad of an objective right there. So that's basically the stuff we're talking about for footmas. Now, if we kind of look ahead in terms of what can we look for um, after this, what kind of stuff can we look for after this? Obviously, um, this is the th this guy on Twitter right here, Iviala. We looked at his tweet yesterday. He's got another great tweet today. So tomorrow or today is going to be French. So we are we are expecting some big time possibilities for French today, and possibly uh, some cards that we could get for that French nationality. So I wanted to make you guys aware of that. Okay, French nationality today could be a big 
player SBC, excuse me, could be a Sissoko, could be a Furlan Mendy. Those are two names that I've seen thrown out a lot in the community. And then also we're going to be getting a player that finished, their club finished 11th. So we're counting down from 12. Now we're up to 11. So it's going to be Watford, Hertha, Alaves, Strasbourg, or Sassuolo. And if I would pick any club that I do think this could be from, I honestly might pick Sassuolo. Um, I, I do think we, we could get, you know, there's one Italian striker. His name might be Cap Caputo. Is that his name? He's gotten team of the season cards in the past. That might be the type of player that we get tomorrow. But of course, we could get a, a Watford card as well. Maybe, um, I don't know. There's plenty of options from Watford. Uh, and Hertha, plenty of options all around, but those are kind of the teams that we had to look forward to tomorrow. France is obviously going to be a big nationality. So uh, a Saturday on FIFA Ultimate Team, a lot of people are probably going to be looking forward to a French SBC. It's kind of interesting, right? Because with the nationalities, we're starting big boys at the top. Belgium, France, Brazil, English, Uruguay, like all these nationalities are good, but we have some really uh, big time possibilities early on with the foot miss SBC. So that makes me think about investing a little bit. Could we possibly get into any investments in terms of um, by that nationality or by what teams we saw come up today? Um, you know, Watford for the position in 11th place team with like Watford, Strasbourg, I wouldn't really mess it with that one too much because out of those teams, I don't really see too many, too much potential for really high rated players um, out of those. But we're talking French, and I think the French SBC is going to be the one that is really, really important tomorrow. Uh, so if you could possibly get League One or French players. Uh, League One, I'm just basically saying because there's a lot of League One play players in France. And if you need some high chemistry in those squads, you might need some links for those. Uh, obviously, Rufier is an 84 rated card. He's a goalkeeper. He's pretty cheap. Um, you know, I'm thinking about guys like, well, Taliso is... Taliso is technically in packs now. So basically, if you just go through some of these uh, nationalities or these, these ratings, I'm going to sort by PS price on the 83 rated cards in the game. And then I'm going to sort by nations as well. I'm actually going to search France. Boom. So basically, you can go here to FIFA 19 or FIFA 20, uh, FIFA 20 players and sort by your nationality. So the cheapest uh, French 83 right now is Sebastian Haller at 1.8K. That's not a bad shout, especially if it is a Sissoko. You know, you might need a Premier League player as well. Since the first day, they required a Bundesliga player um, on the SBC that came from the national men's ranking. You know, we got the Belgium Witzel, and it required a Bundesliga player. So maybe it would require a uh, Premier League player tomorrow if he gets Sissoko. Uh, that's just a thought. It could require a La Liga player. So maybe a guy like Thomas Lamar could be a buy. He's 3,000 coins, though, a little bit inflated. As you can tell, there's not a ton of French guys in like the 80, the 83 rating, the 84 rating as well. I think is kind of low on the on the French uh, kind of situation, and of course, it all depends on who we get for the SBC tomorrow. But the high rateds have kind of returned to a lower level now in this game, thanks to all the pack supply and the panic that we had today. There actually wasn't that many packs opened, but the stuff that went into packs made a lot of this stuff go down. And a lot of people are still probably like panic selling investments um, because of the messy SBC not really working out. And so many people are unassigned and they're trying to get out of unassigned on some of those cards. So if you see any low, uh, low costing French guys like Benzema's new card, the team of the year nominee Benzema is like the cheapest 88 rated card right now. Open just said he was 26 K looks like he's 29 now, but that's not a terrible shout for an SBC investment, right? Because these cards have very high pack weight, but he's still going to be really rare compared to any other gold cards or even UCL cards on the market because he's been packed for literally one day. He's been in packs. So if some of these guys like a Verratti or a Benzema are the cheapest by their player rating, uh, that's a decent shout to maybe invest a little bit in, especially with um, like a uh, France SBC coming today. I would maybe look to pick a few of those up if you can. Storm your transfer list just to see what happens. But I do want to talk about these Team of the Year nominee cards because they really, really shook up the market today. And uh, actually, you, you can't even see all the, all the, the cards right here. So I'm going to go back over to um, I'm going to go back over to EA Sports' Twitter to show you guys the full squads and what is in. Uh, because this, again, this is something that I feel like I should have mentioned last night when I was talking about the footmas stuff coming. The fact that this card design was in the pack code last night, it should have triggered something in my mind because every single other time something gets put in the pack code, 
uh, that like triggers like, oh shoot, it's going to come tomorrow. But for whatever reason with the team of the year vote, I didn't think twice about these team of the year nominee cards um, being a, their card, put it being put into the code. Uh, and that should have registered, but it didn't. So we got these cards in packs today and the pack weight again is stupid high. It's even higher than last week's team of the group stage cards. And that is really causing the market to take a tumble today. It's really interesting though, because these were plus one upgrades and they were basically just plus one across the board. They're like the equivalent of last year's UCL cards that we had that were a plus one upgrade over the gold card. And those came out early on in the year. So these are basically plus one upgrades over their gold cards. But some of them, you know, they have cool dynamic images and they have a cool car design. So they are making waves in the market and they're causing a lot of prices to go down, especially if that card had other informs or other special cards. That's the case where it really drug some, uh, some card prices down today. But it's honestly kind of cool, I think. I mean, a lot of people were mad at this today because, you know, these, they see these players come out. There's more cards in packs and it brings the market down and everybody's just kind of upset because... The market just keeps going down and EA crashes the market every week and they keep losing coins. Uh, but in reality, that's how EA makes money. And we just have to begin to prepare and maybe even put more work into trading or building teams, maybe around untradeable players that we can use for longer periods of time, just to be smart with these market crashes that seem to be coming every week. So I know that upset some people today and I get it because every week you're going to look to maybe change somebody up in your team. And instead of selling him for the same price that you bought him or a little bit more, you're selling for sometimes like three quarters or sometimes even half the price that you bought them at, depending on how long you've owned them. But we're going to look at some of these cards today specifically. Uh, there's the goalkeeper nominees and there, here's the midfielders. So some of these cards have other informs and special cards in the game already and some of them do not. And that's why this these cards are going to be very interesting going forward because they're in the game for the rest of the year, right? They have a really high pack weight. They're in the game for the rest of the year and it's basically an option that we're going to have these are basically like those UCL cards that I was mentioning from last year, but they have a really sweet car design and some of them uh, are entering the game and providing a kind of a nice little upgrade boosted car that you can use in certain positions. Uh, I'll just talk about one right away. Right wing Sterling. So many people love this Sterling card, but his first special card was the left wing team of the group stage. Now he has a right wing card. And if you look at the price difference, between the Sterling right wing and the left wing, there's really not that much of a difference, man. Like I think Sterling team of the group stage is still somewhere around like 210,000 coins. Maybe I can find it right in here. He's actually under 200K, he's like 190 at the moment. And I think the Sterling, um, the new Sterling version is actually somewhere around like a 160 or 170. Yeah, 170 right here for this new Sterling card. So Yes, it looks cool, right? I know it's only a plus one in every statistic. Like you compare it to the normal. This is basically the gold card of Sterling with the same stats as the gold. Uh, and now you have this uh, team of the year nominee item. The Basically, the difference is the dynamic image. And that really makes the cards um, make them, makes them look cool, right? And makes people want to use them. The stats, again, aren't a huge boost. But these cards got packed so much today. I think people opened a ton of save packs that they had for team of the year today because we did not even get lightning rounds. Now, of course, the pack weight is high. We got one pack supply SBC, which wasn't a huge pack. And we didn't even get lightning rounds. We just had like uh, these packs right here, basically, like the rare players packs. 6% chance out of a 50k pack. Insane, by the way. Huge, huge pack supply. Um, but I think people opened saved packs today because they saw these cards come into the game. And that really made sense for how much, um, not panic, I guess, but some of the price movements th that we saw on these cards early on in today's game. I want to look at one card, an example, right when the SBC promo, right when this promo dropped today, when these cards came onto the market, this Allison card was 120,000 coins. It actually reached 111K at one point. I wasn't really watching him that much. But I checked his price just to see where it was, and I saw him at like 115k. And then literally, I checked his card 15, 30 minutes later, and it was all the way up at 140. So the pack opening stopped, kind of like the second hour after these cards had been put into packs, and then everything just shot up after that because people want to use this card, right? It's an upgraded version of Allison with a dynamic image, and it's a freaking sweet card design. It makes sense why people want to use these cards in their teams. Um, 
and in this game. And I think you're going to see this trend continue where these cards, people want to have these cards in their teams. Now, you guys are playing Weekend League right now. So report back to me while you're watching this video, if you played any Weekend League, what kind of, um, what, like, how often are you seeing these new cards in people's teams? That's my major question for you guys. How often are you seeing these new versions, these um, Team of the Year nominee cards? Are you seeing them in a lot of teams? Because I would be really curious to see and to know if you guys are seeing a lot of those. But your next question probably is, why does it affect the market so much? Well, because a lot of guys, like the guy that I still have on my transfer list, right? Cool Bali had a Team of the Group stage that was around 90,000 coins. And today we had a team uh, team of the year nominee Kulabali get dropped onto the market. So obviously big drop in price for this 90 Kulabali card. Some of the group stage cards actually have higher um, statistics than the team of the year nominees do. But the team of the year nominees, man, it, it's just the card design. And I'm going to be honest with you, boys. I think some people think that these team of the year cards are live items. Because why in the world would this Kulabali... 68,000 coins for Cool Bali as the new team of the year live item. And he is more expensive on the market than team of the group's age Cool Bali, who has plus one pace, plus one physical, and plus one dribbling on this card. It's literally just the fact that it's a new card in this game uh, and that it's got uh, a, the team of the year card design. I really think that that's what it comes down to with these cards. So Cool Bali there at 75K. You can see that Cool Bali right here is going to expire for like 70K. Um, their prices are, are pretty similar now. They're, he's a little bit up from where he was. He was 60K at one point. Uh, but I'm going to be taking some big L's today. This is just one example. Okay, actually, this card is cheaper than the team of the group stage. All right, people got their minds right now. GG's. It wasn't at one point. But um, there, that's where you saw a lot of the panic today. The overlapping on the special cards. Fabinho was another great example, right? So Fabinho's inform was around like 200,000 coins today before the promo came out. Now you look at Fabinho's inform, he's like 100,000 coins, 120, 115. Crazy, crazy drop in price uh, for this card because he basically got that new Team of the Year nominee item, if I can find it. Where is it at? Where is it? Right there. Basically another dynamic image, and it's basically the same stats as his, as his inform, minus one dribble, minus one defense. So that's why you see a lot of the panic on these cards today. Now, Allison, like I mentioned, he doesn't have any other informs, right? So this card is really interesting to people because he doesn't have any special cards in the game. People love to use VVD, and people love to use guys like uh, Eder Militao, as I cannot type in his price range. So this is a card that a lot of people have been looking for, like this team, his team of the year. Like a lot of people would like Allison's team of the year card. So, you know, you see this today, and it's a reason where you can put Allison in your team, an, um, an upgraded version of him instead of just using the gold or the UCL Live. So I think a lot of people are putting these cards, like Allison, or an Ederson as well, um, or an Ericsson, who doesn't actually have any other versions of special cards, uh, but he now has um, the new, this item, the new Team of the Year nominee. So that's where you're seeing the market impacted by these cards a little bit, in my opinion. Um, but then what does this mean for the rest of this week and the rest of this weekend with the market? If you have high rated players that like I'm talking Neymar's, I'm talking Messi's, I'm talking literally a lot of stuff. If you, I mean, this pack weight really tells a story for everything. For the rest of this next week, I don't expect the market to go up. Kind of like during team of the group stage, I expect everything to stay low and not even rebound because all week it's going to be an SBC promo alongside of a crazy um, pack supply Team of the Year nominee with a freaking sweet card design with not very big upgrades, but um, a lot of cards and packs. And you're going to be, I think I already mentioned, I mentioned like the coins suck for this SBC. So you're pulling coins off the market by EA releasing SBCs and people are losing coins on their teams. The market is losing a lot of coins right now, right? So like we look at Neymar for the moment. Uh, Neymar's, we're not looking at Neymar's new card. We're looking at Neymar's gold card. I think he's like 830K. Okay, he rose up a little bit today after the initial panic. Wow, he actually rose up a decent amount. Neymar's 860. He was like 830, 820 at one point today. If you guys have these, these cards still in your teams, I would consider getting them out, please. Just because there's going to be um, more of a drop in the next coming couple days in my opinion, because everybody's going to be focused on the new Team of the Year nominee cards, whatever footless cards come into packs, and uh, even the road to the final upgrades, people are going to be focused on those. So I would say if you have if you have stuff that you're not losing on, 
icons rebounded a little bit tonight. If you look at my transfer list, you can tell I've been trading with a lot of icons at the moment. Um, just small, quick little flips, you know, 10, 15. I think I made like, I made 20K on that card. That was a nice one. Um, but that's kind of the stuff that's been, you know, stable and still on this market is the icons. So that's why I bought some of those today after the panic. But other stuff, I am strongly encouraging you guys to probably take the coins on it sooner rather than later because I do feel like this Neymar card could easily be 800,000 coins flat come Saturday night. And yes, that's today, Saturday night. I do feel like this card could drop a decent amount because if you look at a special item, this one, there might be a decent amount of price difference between the special item and his normal card. Actually, not really. That's not too big of a difference, to be honest. One, uh, let's go like what? You think he's like 1.2 mil? I honestly don't know too much about this card. Let me look on Footbed. How much is Neymar's uh, new team of the year item? Team of the year Neymar item. It's 1.6. Okay, it's 1.6. But that's going to be dropping as we can as we go through packs and a lot of packs being opened this week. During this footless promo, we're going to be having player SBCs, which means you probably get player SBCs. You might get some packs back from those SBCs if it's got multiple different portions of it. We'll probably get pack supply SBCs as well. Um, if you want to check the prices of these cards, the best way to do it is to go on Footbin and go to new FIFA 20 players right here. This is the best way to look at the prices of these cards right here. And you can kind of scroll down and look through them because as of right now, Footbin does not have an actual team of the week uh, set up for those. Now, I've already made this video way too long, but for the last couple minutes, I want to talk about road to the final upgrades all right these just happened not too long ago on fifa ultimate team and a lot of these cards are you know they're not really moving that much in price they're kind of going down a little bit and you're seeing some people list them up a lot of them had already dropped a little bit today uh due to the the new team of the year nominee cards like this angolo Conte. he's actually right now i just on xbox or excuse me on playstation he's about 1.168 at the moment um, but you can see today on his hourly graph he was about 1.3 this morning. The team of the years came out. And he went down to like 1.2 flat. And so he hasn't really moved too much since the upgrade came out. And for a lot of these cards, they haven't moved too much. A few of them have gone up a smidge. And a few of them have gone down a smidge. Militao is down. Juan Jesus is one person that I really want to touch on. He got a massive, massive upgrade. The 81 to 84 that we knew was going to be a big upgrade. It was a massive one. He went from a, a, up plus 5 dribbling and really, really solid in-game stats. Uh, but this card today was extinct at 93K. Now he's got a 360,000 coin price limit on the PlayStation. And it says 100,000 on the Xbox. Is that true? Can you guys confirm for me on Xbox? Is that he's actually 100K there? That's crazy. Um, I would be really curious to watch this card and see what it goes to. Uh, because right now, I think most of these other Road to the Finals, if you still have them, I would sell them, get them out. Because I think those cards are going lower with the rest of the market in the next couple of weeks. Especially this next week, in my opinion. But this Juan Jesus special card, it shows right now is 90,000 coins. Um, and there's continuing to be, like every single minute or five minutes that I look at this card, he just keeps dipping lower and lower. Because there are so many people that have invested in this particular card that he just keeps getting listed and listed and listed because people are trying to sell their investments like look at this no games played no games played no games played like a lot of these cards again i, I mentioned this in another video earlier that i did so many of these cards are fresh first owner or not first owner but they're fresh cards that people really haven't used uh because they've been investing in this card so I would look for some undercuts on this. Do I think there's a possible rebound for some of the ones that got bigger upgrades, like the 81s to 84s, like this Juan Jesus? If you see him get back down to like an 80,000 coin range, or maybe even a little bit below that, I do think there's a possibility that he could rebound up from there because people are going to want to try this card, right? He got he's low high work rates. He got a pretty sizable boost, 97 jumping, 97 aggression. You throw a shadow on him and he's going to have all 90 defensive stats. It's going to be a fantastic card. So this is the type of card that I could see, you know, as you guys in the UK are waking up this morning, maybe you see this guy's price rise up a little bit because a lot of the panic selling is going to happen now overnight. And then maybe a little bit in the UK in the morning. And then during the midday, you might see this card trend up a little bit as people want to buy it and, and try it. Because Brazilian, you know, you can probably fit them into a lot of your weekend league teams, especially with some of the new team of the year cards. But the consensus on most of these cards for me is I would just get them out and I would sell them. 
I mean, they did get upgrades, but like Allen's upgrades were all plus ones, plus twos, plus ones and plus twos across the board for most people. Depay's card looks a little bit better now. I was a little bit disappointed in John and Sancho's upgrade uh, because they didn't give him 80 shooting, man. If they gave John and Sancho, John, John and Sancho, if they would have given him 80 shooting, um, I would have been very, very impressed with that upgrade, but I think he's still somewhere down in the realms of, um, he still has 79 shooting. Yes, yeah, so he has 90 pace, 92 dribbling, 81 passing, and 79 shooting. If they would have given, given him that upgraded shooting boost, I would have been very, very intrigued with this card, and I think it might have gone up. That Seriously, one stat, literally one face card stat, I think this card would be 20 or 30,000 coins more, just because you would see that 80. And to a lot of people, 80 is the threshold of like good in this game. So you see that with like Lewandowski's team of the group stage card and his inform going from 79 and the team of the group stage being 81 pace. You see that team of the group stage item being a lot more expensive because of that pace boost. So road to the final cards. I'm, honestly, boys, I would get pretty liquid. I am preparing for myself to take the the big loss on all the cool abalis that I have. You can see them right here. I've got all these for around like 80 80, 82 to 86 or 87,000 coins on most of these. So I am definitely losing, uh, you know, I'm losing like 30K a card almost on a lot of these. So um, that is a big L. 30K times like I have eight or nine of them, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So uh, that's like a 300,000 coin loss almost. I tried to make it up today with a lot of these flips. I have some more flips going on here with some of these informs. Um, and then I probably actually have made it up almost with just these icon flips. Uh, these icon flips have been really, really solid. There's a lot of panic today on some of these cards. Um, some sniping as well. If you guys want to do some bidding and some sniping, these cards still fluctuate a lot right now because they're new and they're not as they're they're supplied, but they're not as supplied as other ones. And a lot of people are trying these. So if you want to do some quick flipping with uh, the the new team of the year cards. You can give that a shot and it should be uh, maybe a way to to make some coins on that. We're talking like bids and snipes and stuff like that. So very long video today. Thank you guys for hanging in there. I greatly appreciate it. But tons of stuff that we had to cover today. And I wanted to get it out in all one video so that you guys uh, could understand it. Maybe think about it a little bit and be ready headed into the second day of Footmas and of the team of the year nominees being in packs and what all that means um, for this game. If you like the video, smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you do have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out